SPMT Mammut, a transporter that takes extremely heavy things. This is both a platform and a self-propelled machine with a bunch of wheels, in general, like a centipede only with wheels. It is used to transport something excessively large and massive, for example, pieces of bridges, giant engines, spaceships, the egos of American rappers, etc. Each axis can rotate 270 degrees. This solution allows this hulk to go forward, backward, sideways at an angle, even rotate on the spot. As for control, it is carried out from the remote control or from the cabin. Well, so that you understand what burdens these machines deal with, in 2017 a ferry MV Seawall sank in the East China Sea. During the rescue operation, ALE used SPMT on 600 axles. It was carrying 17,000 tons of cargo. Thus, the car then broke two world records. The SK-3500D is the tallest demolition machine in the world, listed in Guinness Book of Records. Japan has undergone massive urban development in recent years. Old buildings are being demolished and properties are being restored to make efficient use of urban space. Demolition of buildings is becoming increasingly difficult. Due to the height of buildings, the use of large concrete foundations and the high strength of concrete in buildings. To meet these demands, Kobelco has developed the SK-3500D, which has an operating range of over 65 meters, which is roughly the height of a 21-story building. The SK-3500D is based on a crawler crane with a lifting capacity of 200 tons. The large span and low center of gravity contribute to the safe and efficient demolition of high-rise buildings. The LTM-11200 is a mobile telescopic boom crane manufactured by German company Lieber. It was first shown to the general public at Borma 2007, becoming the most powerful crane with the longest telescopic boom in the world. This crane has impressive dimensions and weight, a chassis of about 20 meters in length, an arrow weighing 100 tons and almost 20 meters in height. As the name suggests, the crane has a lifting capacity of 1200 tons. The lifting height of the telescopic boom is about 100 meters, but with the help of additional jibs, it can be increased to 188 meters. The largest agricultural tractor in the world, Big Bard 747. It has 1100 horsepower and about twice as large as its closest competitors. Such power is provided by a Detroit diesel brand diesel, volume 24 liters, running on 16 cylinders. An eight-wheeled machine weighs 46 tons, its length reaches 8 meters and its height is 4. The model can be aggregated with a plow 30 meters wide, plowing depth exceeds 3 meters. This giant was originally designed and built for the Rossi brothers, cotton growers from California, priced at $300,000. It was used there for 11 years for deep loosening and then sold. The main drawback of this huge giant is a small tank that holds only 380 liters. This volume is hardly enough for 10 minutes of work. Over time, the tank was increased by one and a half times. Bridge building machine SLJ900 moves with a set of 64 wheels. It weighs an impressive 580 tons, has a length of 91 meters and a width of 7 meters. The colossal machine offers a whole new way to complete large build projects without the need for expensive and complex scaffolding and framing. It is intended for the construction of long bridges consisting of a large number of spans. Most of the work of moving, installing and fixing the finished segments of the bridge deck on pre-installed supports has been put on this machine. According to the information, in recent years such machines have become widespread, not only in China but throughout the world. The world's largest excavator, Bagger 293. In size, it roughly corresponds to the Egyptian pyramid of Cheops. This giant 
holds a world record as the largest land vehicle in the world. As such, it was listed in the Guinness Book of Records. A bucket wheel excavator is a continuous operation device on caterpillar or rail running equipment that develops soil using working elements, ladles, scrappers or cutters. The Bergen 293 excavator has a simple principle of operation. It removes the layer of rock with buckets and the rock is transferred along the conveyor belt to the place of loading. Now the giant machine is digging brown coal in a large open pit in Germany. Each such excavator produces coal per day to load approximately 2,400 train cars. Bagger is a complete vehicle. It moves on tracks at a speed of about 0.6 km per hour. A representative of Bill Russian automobile plant, Bell R75710, the largest mining truck in the world. It was introduced in September 2013 and in January 2014 set a Guinness record, carrying cargo weighing 503 tons through the test site. It is as long as two double-decker London buses parked one behind the other. Its power plant is six times more powerful than the engines of today's Formula One cars. A mining dump truck with a total weight of 810 tons is designed to transport goods in harsh conditions of deep quarries along technological roads at air temperatures from minus 50 to plus 50 Celsius. The truck-mounted Michelin tubeless tires are R63 in size and weighed 5.5 tons, the largest in the world at the time the truck was built. Each pneumatic tire can support a weight of 102 tons. Estimated fuel consumption is 1300 liters per 100 kilometers. The price of such a monster is about 10 million dollars. NASA's giant transporter crawler. It was originally used to transport Saturn rockets. It was then used to transport spacecraft to launch pad. Once built, the tracked carrier became the largest autonomous land vehicle in the world, the price of which is 14 million dollars. This technological hero weighs two and a half thousand tons and has eight tracks, two on each corner. The size of this monster is 40 by 35 meters. It is capable of carrying over 8,000 tons and move at a maximum speed of 1.6 km per hour loaded or 3.2 km per hour unloaded. As of 2003, there were 16 traction motors on each track. The Caterpillar tanks held 19,000 liters of diesel fuel and burned 296 liters per kilometer. The world's largest tunnel drilling machine, Berta. Berta was created by specialists from a Japanese company. It should pave under Seattle, a much-needed state Route 99 interchange with a width of 17.5 meters. It weighs a gigantic 6,700 tons and has a total length of almost 100 meters. Started in 2013, it almost immediately broke down and over the course of many months it had to be repaired, recycled and even modified. This downtime and repair cost the US state budget as much as $223 million, despite the fact that the cost of the car itself is $80 million. Now, try to visualize the incredible dimensions of the machine, capable of independently making a hole in the ground in which roads of several lanes of two floors will fit. Yes, Berta is a very massive and strong thing, but these abilities are provided by a large number of moving parts and 700 steel blades. Therefore, it is not surprising that such a colossus quite often fails and requires constant attention in the form of maintenance. A unique copy of Dodge Power Wagon, made as an order of an Arab Sheikh known as the Rainbow Sheikh. However, this is not a reduced copy, but enlarged eight times. The weight of this super pickup truck is 50 tons, and inside of it is a luxurious four-room apartment with a kitchen and bathroom. An incredible machine is equipped with an engine and able to move, though not very fast. The Big Muskie is the world's largest walking excavator. Created in 1969 to work in a coal mine, it is considered the world's largest moving mechanism and the largest walker. 
The weight of the excavator was about 13,000 tons. The dimensions of the excavator – height 68 meters, length 149 meters. The volume of the bucket was 168 cubic meters, and it freely could get two buses or 12 cars in it. The excavator was built in two years. The cost in 1969 was 25 million US dollars. The service life was 30 years. To control this monster, a crew of five people was required. During this period, the machine moved more than 465 million cubic meters of overburden, more than twice the volume of earthworks for the construction of Panama Canal. As a result, more than 20 million tons of coal were mined.